Good morning. My name is David Martin. I'm a long-time taro farmer and I've followed the Water Commission for many years since its inception. Uh, my concerns have always been in the area of the processes that have accompanied the Water Code and the whole subject of planning. To me, this matter is really should not be treated as a permitting matter. It should be treated as a planning matter. This is totally uh, dealing with subjects that are already set up to be managed under the Water Code, water shortages. Um, and there are many questions. Uh, I, I, for, I would very much like to applaud the staff for the work that they've done on this so far. Uh, the observation recommendation and the efforts that they're trying to walk a very fine line here. Uh, denying a water use permit but going forward with the well. I have some concerns about that, mostly related to the issues of ground, but the use of the land, it's, you know, toxicity. You know, it's pretty well recognized globally that we're having major problems and on this same piece of land we've dealt with the issue of, you know, toxicity in the water. I don't really believe, although the staff says that they have enough information to move forward on this at this time, uh, I disagree. Uh, I don't see why there should be no consideration of the reasonable and beneficial use of the water coming out of Waiholi. You have a new user, you have new crops. I think that should be on the table at this time. They've opened the door. And it should be addressed. We have studies that are showing major declines in stream flow that are still being studied. What water is actually available coming out of Waiholi right now? Do you know? What have the flows been? What have the flows been since the award? Have there been reductions? There's a study that says that there's probably a 20% reduction. Whether that shows up in the ditch flow, I don't know. But I don't think you folks know. Um, we have the whole issue of recharge, the availability of water in this aquifer right now. It's under study. We're looking two years out before we have an answer. We have the whole subject of reuse water, the study going on about that. Is it available or isn't it? These, fo that these folks have been asked to provide information about that, but they haven't done their work on that, according to the submittal. They haven't provided you information. At this point, on page 5, it's uh, indicated that Waiholi ditch water is the Commission's preferred source for water in this area. I disagree at this point. I don't think that you have enough information to continue on that assumption, especially considering the effects that have been occurring to stream flows that have been already identified and presented to you. Your public trust obligations have been very well covered by the preceding speakers immediately before me. From the heart, I cannot add to that. I believe all of these applications should be deferred. I believe there should be the completion of the water plan that was supposed to have been done 25 years ago, that has not yet been completed. And again, this is a planning matter. This is a long time drag the tail issue that has never been addressed. Complete the regional water use and development plan. 
I started at the very beginning of this code addressing the subjects of Hawaiian interests in water rights and stream flows. And that's been the primary concern. How in the planning process is this ever going to be addressed? It's obvious that it's been kicked down the road. It can have gone and gone and gone and it's been kicked down the road. And now you have some people, corporations, not people. This is a corporation coming before you. We had people testifying before you. I would certainly hope that you would regard the testimony of real people above the testimony of the corporate interests. These people are not going to provide food for us. They may provide some jobs and a lot of workers' compensation claims. But it's in your lap. I don't envy you the position. But I highly, highly hope that you will honor the requests of the local folks here and understand their interest in protecting the water into perpetuity. I cannot accept any decision that would allow this corporation to get their foot in the door first before anybody else. This is the privatization of water interests. You must understand that and you must respond to it accordingly. Mahalo.